right, so today I'm going to show you how to obtain your own desktop calculator for DAISY, Proxy, and Proto placements. All right. We're going to need a few things. I'll have links for everything in the description, but uh, let's just get right into it. All right, to get started, we're going to have to get a couple of things. We're going to have to get Visual Studio Code. You're going to hit the link. I have Windows. You're going to grab that. Then you're going to come to Node.js. Hit the link in the description. And uh, grab 14 because that's what I have and that's what I use it with. So that's what I know works. Comes with a package called NPM. Together they are the gears that make the clock tick in this case, I guess. All right. Alright, once we have our Visual Studio Code and we have our node with our NPM package, we're going to open Visual Studio Code, click the terminal, just to be sure, check your versions, node space dash v, enter, it's going to tell you your version, NPM space dash v, it's going to tell you your version, as long as you have those, this will work. You're going to go to the link provided in the description you're going to get your zip folder of the project. Open that. Take the folder from the zip file and drag it straight to your desktop. All right? That's the project we're going to use, not the actual downloaded file. You're not using the zip, you're taking the folder out of the zip, extracting it. From there you have the zip. Use that as the backup and save it somewhere. Visual Studio Code, all right? Drag this entire folder into the project and go to the index.js file. I've left some rough work in here from a previous project just to give an example. What you're going to do is, after you export your data from offline mode, a lot of people are like, well, what do I do with that? All right, you're going to paste that below here, all the way at the bottom. You just come in here and scroll down. Go ahead and hit enter, give you a long little gap of pillow there so you never mess the script up yourself. You're going to paste that down here. Copy the structure you're working with, whether it be a rec or whatever, anything that you're working with. Bring it all the way back to the top and match it up here. All right? Doesn't matter what it is, they just have to match. If you're doing a proxy, you're going to put proxy and it's going to spit the coordinates back in that form for you. If you're doing loot for a regular proto, you can do that option too. You just put it there, control S to save. Okay. I always scroll back down here. From there, you open the terminal. Wait for the three lines to pop up. You're going to type node space dot and hit enter. And as you can see, it spits these back. It splits the top one off and gives you the coordinates of these items based on their relation to each other previously. You're still going to have to mess with your roll pitch and y'all. You're still going to have to mess with this stuff. It's not 100% there. It's, it'll take a good 60% of the work out for you, but if you're not familiar with it, you're still going to have to tweak it. If you are familiar with it, you're still going to have to tweak it. Like, you're already aware. This, this might need to be a positive 90 over here, it's hard to say. So you're going to take that whole string of stuff. What do you do with it? Well, you should be familiar by now. You're going to go into your proto, you're going to find you a proxy something or other, and what you do is you put that in between your dispatch cords. All right. And then you do this, you reformat it, save it, you know how it goes. You load back in. So that's basically it you go into your offline mode do your little project export your data I always paste it in a spare see you always put your I always put my rough work and then I put it through the calculator and then paste it back here for reference later before I post it into my dispatch so I always have this for reference and then you know it goes over here and everybody happy this video helped you hit the like button uh, if you want to catch the next one hit the subscribe button gonna keep coming out with these little tips and tricks as I map my way through the map but uh yeah uh, 
comment what you like what you don't like don't comment what you like what you don't like i don't know um what are you working on what do you want to work on what do you want to see me work on catch me on the twitch and join the discord check out the servers if you got xbox we got a server for you i promise and uh all right we'll catch y'all next time